Okay, well. <sighs> Good evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade. Good day. It is Friday. Friday, May 10th, 2024. Day 131. Hi, I know usually, well, I, I do typically do the Fridays anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But, um, I'm, I, at least I'm finally in VR again. My voice is definitely doing a lot better. So you should be getting terror tomorrow. But, overall, we're, we're feeling better. We're still a bit short of, we're still a little bit short of breath. But it, it's, it's not, um, it's not too bad, I should say. It's, it's not too bad. Like, I can breathe. My throat does not hurt right now. It only hurts when I'm laying down. And that is really, really dumb. It, it only hurts when we're laying down. But the same thing's been happening to Lily as well. But, um, she's still, she's still not doing all the things to help her throat recover faster. And so I said I would recover faster than her. And here we are. I am recovering faster. But I'm keeping this one brief because if anyone has heard on the news that sometime tonight we're supposed to be getting hit with an X-class solar storm. Because the sun, yeah, the sun decided to give off seven solar flares, very large ones, between uh, class three and four. Uh, seven class three and four solar flares since Wednesday. And the worst of them is supposed to be hitting us tonight or tomorrow morning. So we're, we're getting prepared. Uh, they're not expected. So just so everyone knows, if you haven't heard, you can check on your local news or anything like that. Um... There's a possibility of seeing the Aurora Borealis as far south as North Carolina and Alabama. I believe they said. So I believe uh, over here we're further south than that. So it would be cool if we got to see it. I'll keep an eye out tonight and very early tomorrow morning. I'll keep an eye out. I don't expect to see anything here because we're further south. But if you're further north in the continental United States or Europe... Uh, well, if it, if it hits, if it hits early enough, keep an eye out and say, like, the United Kingdom and France, uh, maybe you should get to see it, but I don't expect too much, but they did say to be prepared for the possibility of, um, communications outages, like wireless communication to satellites and GPS or global positioning satellites. They're, they do expect to see some degree of outages, but because we have so many of those satellites, it shouldn't, it, it should not be too bad. Which is, which, which is a good thing. We shouldn't expect to see anything on the scale we did in 1859, where the, um, telegraph wires literally burst into flames. We're not going to expect to see any of that. We might see some, Power outages, they don't expect anything. They mainly the major uh the, the major power lines. They, they may expect to see something, but it shouldn't be too major. But they said it's it's good to just be prepared. So we're getting prepared. So I'm trying to get this video done as soon as possible. And it's it's really bad because it's, at the time of recording, it's 5 49 p.m. So I am unbelievably behind right now because I had a lot I had to do today. And I procrastinated too much because I was still re in recovery. So by the time I was up and moving around today, I'm feeling so, so much better. But mm, I want everyone to get prepared for the solar storm. So if you live further north than us, be prepared to see some spectacular things if it's as bad as they expect. They expect the worst of it to be a class four. Uh, so a class four, an X class. Uh, solar storm, because these solar flares were massive. The sun's thought were like 18 times the diameter of Earth on the sun. But, uh, the worst one was a class five in 1859, like I said, and that's the one where, uh, people didn't, didn't feel the effects of it. Uh, there were people who did get hospitalized purely from the ionic storm. The, the, uh, ionic storm, uh, caused auroras to be 
seen as far south as Hawaii. And um, like I said, it, it, it caused our telegraph wires, because it's free electricity, it caused our telegraph wires to, well, they burst into flames. So, like I said, we're not expecting anything that bad because we didn't get any class five flares, but we did get some class four. So they're all class three and four. So yeah, just be prepared and just in case have some bottled water in case your power goes out. Because if the power goes out with the main grid lines, you're going to lose water. And there's a high likelihood you will lose water over that, at least temporarily. Depending on where you are, of course. And do expect to lose GPS. So um, it's a really good idea to know how to read a map. Please, if you don't know how to read a regular map, please learn to do that. Or just have a better sense of directions. That would be a much better idea. Learn directions. Don't rely on your GPS for the next uh, 24, 48 hours and you could be good. But overall, I'm going to keep an eye on things because I still don't want to miss a single day. of saying, hey, we're sober because I am sober. I'm feeling... I'm feeling so much better right now. I still have a little bit in my chest from that sick. But I don't know what it was. No one does. The whole city got hit really hard. And I'm just I'm just glad it's over for me. And I'd like it to be over for Lilia as soon as possible. But I came into this world because it's space and a star. Or a, you know, a star. But, um... You can't really move. It, it keeps you locked in place, so you can't really move around with a thumbstick. And, um, I dare not point down. Because if I point the camera down, you're going to find the other home. Then put the mirror on the floor. So if you look down, that's bad news. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you can stay right here. Ah, <sighs> it's like a strange world. I love, I love the atmosphere. I am, I mean, you already know me. I love our space, so you know how it's going to go for me. But I, I, I'm sorry, I can't let you see the ground, because the ground is just a giant mirror anyway. But I have to keep this one very brief, because again, it's already 5.53 p.m. I need to get this edited and put on the internet for everyone before the solar storm gets here. So I'm a little, I'm a little crunched for time. Because they only send it tonight and tomorrow and in the morning. And if it was the time frame, I don't know when they mean tonight because the evening starts in seven minutes. So I don't know when the storm's supposed to get here. I'd like to get this done before it gets here. So I want everyone to enjoy their Friday. Enjoy the aurora if you're far enough north. Make sure you have plenty of water and maybe even some canned goods. I don't know. But I want everyone to have a wonderful evening. Keep an eye on the news and just um, just make sure you relax. I don't want anyone to panic because honestly, I don't think there's anything to panic over. I mean, the worst one, the worst one we've had in recent history was in 2005, and even then, it didn't knock the grid out too bad. So we're, we should be good. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade. Friday, May 10th, 2024, day 131. You'll see Tara tomorrow. Good night, everyone. God, I wish this start was a little bit longer.